race day at the Mac Tools U.S. Nationals at O'Reilly Raceway Park in Indianapolis, Indiana. The Nationals kick off the final phase of the National Hot Rod Association's Full Throttle Championship. The Fram Dragster team and their driver, Corey McLenathan, have qualified in second place behind their nemesis, Larry Dixon, and Team Alanabi. To win the Nationals today, McLenathan and the Fram team need to win four back-to-back -back races. Well, they have a shot at Larry Dixon, number one guy, and we're number two right now. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. Now, obviously, number one qualifier thinks he should win. Well, we got different news. We think we should win this race. Corey Mack wants to win the Nationals and the championship badly. In his 20-year career, he's finished the season in second place four times, but has not yet been able to take the title. There's a lot going on mind-wise with the crew chiefs and myself as a driver. It's more about you need to stay relaxed, you need to stay focused, and keep these guys on their toes. The top fuel category is the pinnacle of drag racing, the top rung of the many classes that make up the sport. Today, these fire-breathing dragons are the fastest accelerating vehicles on the planet. You hit the throttle and it's an explosion. The race car goes from 2,200 RPMs to over 8,000 RPMs in thousands of a second. Accelerating to zero to 60 in a half second. Zero to 100 in eight tenths of a second and covering 1,000 feet at over 316 miles per hour. It's incredible. That acceleration subjects the driver to a force of five and a half Gs, or five and a half times normal gravity. It's like being parked at a red light and having somebody rear-end you at 60 miles an hour. That's going to get your attention, at least on for it. 